Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to create a shader of glass, a glass shader in Blu-ray for Cinema 4D. So let's begin. First of all, create, like usual, Blu-ray Bridge, Blu-ray Advanced Material, and rename it Glass. In this particular shader, I don't want the diffuse layer that is bring the opacity control on the color uh, parts of the material. But I so I uncheck it and activate my refraction layer that control the refraction and the transparency of my uh, shaders. In this. Uh, settings I will control the reflection color that I usually uh, setting about 98% because this uh, create uh, um, more realistic um, shadow effects uh, compared to 100% transparency that brings no shadows or create uh, strange effect in my shadows. The um, refraction color controls the, the color of my transparency, so if I want a glass or water or something else of different color, I will, I'm going to change these settings and uh, as you can see we can obtain different color in my transparency, but in this tutorial I want to have a white uh, reflection color that uh, uh, resume in no color in my uh, glass or full transparency. The um, index of reflection control the, the types of uh, reflection, uh, the refraction, sorry, in my shader. Uh, normally uh, glass is about uh, 1.3 to 1.6 diamonds is like up to 2 as you can see here I can uh, I have more pumped up reflection and for example I can put it to 10 and I have a very strange effect in my reflection and this is how the index of refraction work. For this tutorial I will bring it to 1.4 okay as you can see I have this uh, little reflect refraction in this area but my most part of my shadow is uh, transparent and after doing this I'm going to apply it to my sphere and see what happens in my text, text render. Okay, as you can see, I have created my basic shader of glass that result in this transparent area over my uh, core sphere in my test shader ball. The refractions are good, as you can see here, here, with this bright line, and here. But I think for uh, um, create a very realistic look, I'm going to activate my specular layer to add some reflection to my shadow. So double click on my glass shadow and activate specular layer number one. As, you can, uh, uh, as I did before, I'm going to uh, decrease a little bit my specular color brightness as about um, 90, 98% uh, note is the same have uh, um, 98% in my HSV 
value or in my brightness it's work as the same but if I going to apply a 98 here it's uh, about uh, to have a 96 percent total these two values sum for are um, summed so I'm going to leave it to 100 percent 98 percent here and going to decrease the reflection gloss to about 0 0.95 to create a little blurry reflection that is bring more realistic look to my shadow. So I'm doing this, I'm going to have a nice another uh, test render. Okay, as you can see, the render is finished and uh, the reflection adds very realism on my glass uh, with uh, the glossy spots year in year and reflection of my back, um, bottom of my shadow ball here in this area of my studio here and I think it's a very good basic glass shader that work in 99% of my, of any glass uh, you wanna to apply in any product or architecture visualization render. So for this tutorial is everything. Um, stay tuned for some other tutorial and in, in the next one I will go on to explain how to create a frosted glass from this uh, basic uh, glass shader of made in these lessons so follow me on Instagram as usual and uh, follow please uh, subscribe here on YouTube so that's all bye